It's been uh, almost 24 hours since I put a note on Facebook that I was going away. So uh, I'm not Elon Musk. I wasn't, uh, I'm going to buy Twitter and I'm not going to buy Twitter. But I, I have done a lot of thinking and I've been reading the notes that people have put up. And I want to, number one, just thank everybody for um, being so nice. Um, it's just, it's, you know, the social media thing is pretty stupid. But to, uh, to hear from people who enjoy hearing from me uh, means a lot. Because I think what kind of got me to the point I was at last night, there's just so much noise in the world right now. And, I mean, just a cacophony of noise. And, uh, and I, I guess I worried in some way that I might be contributing to it. Um, Twitter is really the place that I feel like... Uh, is the most bothersome for me just because people tend to get uh, more vitriolic and worked up about news and political issues there. There wasn't one thing that happened. Nobody attacked me. Nobody bothered me. Uh, it wasn't like uh, I saw something uh, that just set me off. I think it was the cumulative of realizing that uh, we're in this terrible time where, you know, we, another school shooting today in Texas. Um, people bitching and moaning about everything under the sun and uh, a, a couple of things I wanted to say just for the record and better to do it this way than put it in a in a sentence but um, I have part I have problems with both political parties they're both a mess they've created the system that has allowed gerrymandering and campaign finance to go on in the way it does so what we're getting is political candidates who represent the extremes of both parties and most of us live in the middle uh, people from both parties can no longer agree on anything because they don't listen. They don't talk. They just point and say they're always wrong. And um, that is permeating our daily lives now. And so when you get on social media and you see people that are just being snitty, I mean, they're just not being nice at all, um, that's not good for our republic. We have to get things done. There are a heap of problems in this world that are going to require solutions that are going to come from everybody, not just one group of people. And if we can't talk, if we can't um, get through a conversation without resorting to name calling, that's terrible. The other thing is that, as I've told Lee Hamilton, and we laugh about this, but you know, there are a lot of people in this country these days that walk into the supermarket, the proverbial supermarket, and they pick up the R or the D basket and they go right to the checkout. You know, I like to walk the store and check out the rutabagas. Um, it really bothers me that there are so many people from both parties who are just so party centric that they don't consider issues. And they don't sometimes consider how issues they all agree with conflict with each other. I won't get into that, but it's true on both sides. And I think we need uh, an analysis of our issues, our problems, and solutions that are not party driven. Uh, there is no party that has it right, and there's no party that has it all wrong. So, uh, again, back to the listening thing. And um, I know I'm rambling here, but uh, it's just we're at a time where I think we just all need to be nicer. And and and, and politics is is such an ugly thing because it sends you right into that corner. And I'm a guy that grew up loving politics. I used to have a Commodore 64, I still do actually, and it had a uh, election software program. It was probably made in 1987, but it was, uh, you could actually run simulations of presidential elections. I thought about running for Congress a couple of years ago. Uh, I actually had some meetings and, and the, that train was heading down the tracks. So I'm, I'm fascinated by the political process. I'm, I'm devastated to see where it is right now. And unless we as citizens demand something more, we're going to get more of this just buffoonery that we're seeing. And again, it's it's not it's not one side buffoonery. It's it's buffoonery. It's it's coming from both sides. And um, that's not a swipe at any individual. But uh, and then you know and, and then back to the the, the things we're we're facing right now. Um, when I hear people you know blaming gas prices on a politician or or a policy. Um, gas prices are driven by a commodity. A commodity is traded in the marketplace. Our gas prices actually are lower than they are in most other countries right now. They're high, nobody's happy about it, 
but you know things ebb and flow and the economy is a crazy thing. If you want to get mad at somebody, get mad at Vladimir Putin. I think that's the guy that we could all agree is just an idiot. And and he's creating a lot of the problems we're facing right now, uh, including the oil situation. So um, we this blame game stuff and, and being promulgated by this you know, equipment like the thing I'm talking into right now is not helping us any. Um, so uh, my respite from Facebook was brief. I probably will be a little more quiet these days. And I'm going to try to stay away from Twitter because I've been thinking about it all day long. That's the thing that's really been getting on me. And it's, uh, it's again, it's, it's people from the right who can't listen to the left, people from the left who can't listen to the right, people who won't even like take the time to consider there might be another solution to a problem. And uh, we're better than this people and we got to figure it out because again, the headlines are full of things that are not good, including COVID back on the rise. And uh, we're only here a brief time. As I said last night, you know, I think about when I see a bird out here or when I talk to my cat, which is its own set of problems. Um, you have to assume that a cat or a bird has no idea that one day they will die, that their time on planet Earth is finite and that you got to get things done while you're here. Uh, we were put here, I believe, to make it better for the next generation in whatever way we can. And that's always been the way it's been. Um, we're at a point now where I think we are so singular and so focused on me, we got to get back to we. And I think that's why I hit the wall yesterday with this platform and just social media in general, because, um, you know, it, it's, it's, it's time for us to work together. And, and that means not being snarky. And that means, um, and I, I, sometimes I am too, but we have to work on it. So enough rambling. The birds are beautiful, beautiful day. And, uh, and again, thank you for your notes. It really means a lot that uh, some people think what I have to say is interesting or funny or um, even worthy of thought. So uh, have a great evening, friends, and we will talk soon, I promise. Bye-bye.